Imagine, your 16-year-old girl scrolling across the internet looking for video games to play. Title after title depicts beefy men running around, killing no-name henchmen. This is not too problematic for you, but then there is the other focus to these games, their treatment of female love interests. Women in these games are little more than glorified sex toys to be objectified until the plot kills them off. Then amid all of this, you see... Gone Home is an indie game developed by the Fulbright Company. Within the game, you play as Caitlin Greenbrier, a 21-year-old who returns to her family's house after some time spent abroad, only to find it completely empty. Unlike many mainstream games, there are no quests, no weapons, and no other characters to talk to. All that is available to aid in finding out what happened to the Greenbriars while Caitlin was gone are the clues in the house and the occasional diary entries scattered about by Caitlin's younger sister, Sam. The empty house's halls are creepy and foreboding, and during the game's early stages, you often find yourself peeking around corners in anticipation of a jump scare. However, as you progress, you realize that Gone Home is not a story of horror, but of love. The clues around the house detail the beginnings of Sam's realization that she is a lesbian, as well as her burgeoning relationship with another girl, Lonnie. In the final stages of Gone Home comes the big reveal. Sam and Caitlin's parents disapproved of Sam being gay, and the house is empty because Sam ran away to start a life with Lonnie. In a society where, according to a study by Nielsen, only 16% of LGBT people feel that, that all sexual orientations have ample representation in video games, characters like Sam and Lonnie become a godsend to girls questioning their own identities. As in Rita Mae Brown's lesbian existence epic, Ruby Fruit Jungle, Without representation in media, happy lesbian relationships become what one character in the novel calls an aberration, clarifying that, after all, it's not normal. What is normal, and why can't two women in love be normal? Normalizing lesbian existence is something that will take work on many different fronts, be they social, political, or personal. However, this normalization can begin to take place in one of the most versatile and expressive forms of media we have at our disposal today, video games. Video games allow the player to step inside the world of a character and become that person. There is no disconnect between the subject of the art and the viewer. With so few positive representations in media, the true way to normalize lesbian existence is to detail and demonstrate it, allowing questioning young girls to have an outlet in which they may understand that their love does not have to be scary or wrong. Girls can use characters like Sam and Lonnie as a lens to view themselves outside of what feminist writer Adrian Rich coins Compulsive Heterosexuality in her 1980 essay, Compulsive Heterosexuality and Lesbian Existence. Unlike the flat female love interests of other video games, Sam and Lonnie move beyond the stories of men into their own, embodying Rich's idea of moving beyond the limitations of women's lives that can be ascribed to compulsory heterosexuality and creating their own narratives instead. A video game like Gone Home can begin to normalize lesbian existence and open it to young women, then what more could games like it do?